Shohei Otani, the newest superstar for the Los Angeles Dodgers, and yes, the man who signed the largest contract in MLB history at 10 years at $700 million. He finds himself at the center of a sports betting scandal. And yeah, his name is on a bunch of the documents. Almost about four and a half million, if not more, is missing or has been stolen. So it's a little suspect here, but we're going to dive into what we know and the implications, of course. And Let's, let's just go into it. <laughs> Ipe Mizuhara is at the heart of the accusation. And this all came to light from an LA Times article that was targeting illegal bookmakers, specifically Matthew Boyer, who was linked to Mizuhara and Otani. Now here's where the story gets a little interesting and skeptical in my opinion. I mean, who even is Ipe Mizuhara? Well, Ipe Mizuhara is seemingly an integral part of Otani's life and what has been an unbelievably successful transition to the MLB. Not only has he served as Otani's interpreter since 2017, but the two are rarely separated. So naturally, Mizuhara had a contract with the Los Angeles Angels when he was with Otani there, and now he gets paid between 300 to 500,000 annually from the Dodgers. So he has plenty of money to gamble and pay off his own debts, you would think. But during an interview arranged by Otani's spokesperson, Mizuhara announced that he has terrible gambling addiction and he had asked Otani to pay off his debts that he had collected not only just from DraftKings initially, but with the illegal bookmaker Matthew Boyer. Multiple sources have said that the gambling debt ballooned to upwards of four and a half million dollars, which is just crazy. Now, of course, a lot of that was assumed by the illegal bookmaker Matthew Boyer because obviously the legal ones you have to pay up front. You can't just collect all this debt and not pay for it right there. So that's why this is a huge controversy. The legal ramifications might be massive. This is not nothing. This is one of America's most talented and most high profile athletes. I mean, the face of America's pastime being involved in possible illegalities, sports betting. And so let's talk about what the illegalities are and what's actually possible for Otani. Now, the MLB's gambling policies are very strict and specific, and these players and staff know because they're reminded every spring training and probably a lot throughout the year. But what do they actually say? Gambling on baseball and softball is strictly banned for MLB employees, but they are allowed to place legal bets on other sports. So any player, umpire, club, or league official, or employee who places bets with illegal bookmakers or agents for illegal bookmakers shall be subject to such penalty as the commissioner deems appropriate in light of the facts and circumstances of the conduct, obviously. But MLB players can bet on other sports in states that are legal, with legal, you know, legal sports books. But they're in California, Los Angeles. That's where it gets tricky. Sources close to the situation that are in the know, you know, who knows, but um, obviously they know, supposedly, allegedly, that Matthew Boyer worked with Mitsuhara since 2021. I mean, placing bets on international soccer games, other sports like the NFL, but not baseball, apparently. But again, where does Shohei Otani come in in this situation? Well, Matthew Boyer, on a wire transfer, it said Shohei Otani, and he was receiving money from that. He noticed that and didn't say anything originally, but then he started marketing it to other people to say that Shohei Otani is a customer of his. This is where it gets even more absurd. Like, are we sure that Otani isn't a client of his? I mean, <laughs> how does Otani not know about the money that is moving around? I mean, almost four and a half million dollars. They even had two specific transactions that the bank saw that were $500,000 taken from Shohei Otani's account. You would think that not only is Otani going to figure it out, but the bank or anyone that manages his money or where the money is. No alert, nothing. But Boyer's attorney did say that I guess Boyer never spoke with Otani ever, or never had any contact, but they declined to expand on that. Now, what did Mitsuhara say? Well, he said that obviously Otani wasn't happy about it and said that he would help me out to make sure I never do this again. He decided to pay it off for me. I want everyone to know that Shohei had zero involvement in betting. I want people to know that I did not know that this was illegal. I learned my lesson the hard way. I will never do sports betting again. Sure. But again, now we're going back to the fact that it's not theft. It's that Otani paid off his debts. So people are singing a different tune on all sides. Otani's attorneys are saying that he paid off the debts initially, but then they were contesting that he had absolutely no idea and that this was taken from his account. And Mitsuhara said himself that him and Otani made a deal that Otani would pay off the debts and that this is a gambling addiction. So this is going in very different circles from all different sides. And it's a little suspect, seriously. Is it Otani's gambling? 
gambling or is it just a rich buddy paying off his friend's debts or was this theft? I feel like no one really believes that this is theft, but the two sides of did Otani actually gamble or is he paying off his buddy's debts are very likely outcomes, so we'll see. It's just crazy to think about who the player is. I mean, Otani is viewed as an angel, like the perfect baseball player, but he's very low key and everyone loves him, but we also don't know a lot about him. So we just know he's very competitive and very good and those, you know, who knows? And as the Dodgers and the MLB continue to really just deal with the fallout, the impact on Shohei's career is yet to be seen. I mean, it might be serious. So there are so many potential crimes here, both at the state and federal level. I mean, illegal sports betting is organized crime, so there's statutes that kick in like RICO charges or money laundering. So Fotani knowingly wired the money over to uh, the illegal book or paid off the money at least, uh, he could be complicit in an illegal book, which not good at all for Otani. But again, that's only if he voluntarily handed over the money and this isn't a theft like they're trying to claim now, which I think they figured out after a little bit. But we will find out. I, I really, I don't think there's gonna be a cover up like some people on the internet said. I mean, the MLB is doing an investigation, so maybe the, you know, uh, individual or outside investigators at the MLB find won't find anything, but the IRS is on top of it and you know the IRS is gonna go get their money. It's gonna be a story for the entire season, which just started and a contract that actually didn't really even start. So uh, this is gonna be a crazy year for Shohei. Plus he's recovering from Tommy John, so not ideal. Oh, and of course, since I don't think I mentioned it, Ipe Mitsuhara was of course fired for this situation. I mean, obviously. As we await for further developments, I will be here to share more. Uh, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe. Let me know what you thought about this, what you think, who's in fault here, who really did it, uh, what your opinion is. It's I know it's a crazy, crazy story, especially with Shohei. Um, you know, if you enjoyed this and enjoy other deep dives, make sure you check out my channel for a lot more so we can dive into more about the behind the scenes of the sports business, sports law, sports betting, and so much more. So. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much, and I will see you guys later.